so the future plan for RG604 2 is a multi-trial program. The first study showed us that we can lower Huntington and what we need to know now is whether lowering Huntington produces clinical efficacy. In other words, can we alter the progression of this relentless disease? Um, so right now, the 46 people who took part in that study are in an open label extension study. Um, and in parallel, uh, we are launching a phase three uh, pivotal study called Generation HD1, which would be the first uh, pivotal study of a Huntington lowering agent. Uh, that's going to be a two-year study uh, to determine whether lowering Huntington with this antisense oligonucleotide can slow the progression of Huntington's disease. So it's pretty exciting times. So Generation HD1 is a two-year study um, enrolling patients with early manifest Huntington's disease. It's uh, enrolling about 660 people. It's an international study um, happening at many sites across the world. Um, and the endpoint will be clinical progression. So in other words, can we slow the progression of Huntington's disease? One of the things that's particularly exciting right now about the RG6042 program is that we've been able to use emerging data from the ongoing open label extension study to inform a redesign of the pivotal trial. Um, in the open label extension study, patients are getting doses of the drug every four weeks or every eight weeks. In the previous study, it was only explored in four weekly dosing. So as time has gone, gone on and we've understood more about the PKPD behavior of the drug, we've been able to uh, explore less frequent dosing regimes that we still believe will, be in, uh, will produce Huntington lowering in the range that's likely to be effective. So based on the nine month data from eight weekly dosing of the drug in the open label extension, the data look really good and we're getting really good lowering of mutant Huntington in CSF. So that uh, is now the uh, most frequent arm in the pivotal study. We're no longer dosing monthly, we're gonna dose eight weekly and 16 weekly. So the, the open label extension has enabled us to create a model where we can explore even less frequent dosing. So 16 weekly is three doses a year um, and that's now uh, one of two active treatment arms in the uh, phase three study. So um, that, protocol will be up and running very shortly and recruiting. Um, so it's a really exciting time to be contemplating uh, dosing uh, as, as infrequently as six or three times a year when before the program began, we had every expectation it would need to be monthly.